Nassowick by Mary Oshkosh Read by Frank Blissett There was once a chief who had a beautiful daughter. He caused it to be announced through the village that the first man to fetch him a white deer should have her. Nazowick, the brother of Mikana, told his brother about it. So the next day they all started. All the birds of the air also entered the contest. Nazowick, hunting by himself, soon found a deer trail and thought in his heart, I will watch this. He saw the birds go by without seeing him. Mikana himself was searching. He too was hidden at another place. He covered his head with leaves and stood there with his knife in his hand. Sure enough, a white deer came along presently, and Mikana stabbed it in the side and killed it. Then Mikana got some basswood bark and made a pack strap and carried the deer straight to the chief's house. When he got to the wigwam, he carried the deer to the door and flung it noisily on the ground. He stood there perspiring. He fanned himself with his coat tail and whistled, Phew! to attract them. The chief's wife came out. Oh, this homely one has fetched it. Who'd want him? He'd make a terrible match, and he would only disgrace our daughter. However, she took the deer in. Mikana stood waiting for a long time, and when he was not invited, at last he went home. In the morning, the crier was ordered to go through the camp and inform the hunters that the girl would surely be given to him who would fetch a rope of copper. Mikana's brother told him, There is another announcement being made. Go out and hear it for me. Mikana did so and reported it, saying to himself, All right, I'll prepare again. That night he got out his net and set it. He left it all night, and next morning when he overhauled it, there was the copper in it. As soon as he found it, he took it over to the chief's lodge and waited at the door. Out came the old lady and saw him. She addressed him, who is this homely old fellow who will disgrace my daughter? The old lady would not invite him in, so Mikana went home, offended. In the morning the crier went through the village, notifying the men. This has been agreed upon. We shall all race. The chief's daughter shall stand at a certain place, and the first who sees her shall have her to wife. Mikana learned where the girl would stand. Then he cried, All those who want to contest, gather here so I can tell them something. Sparrowhawk and Red-tailed Hawk came to him. Mikana said to them, you two in racing will run over the earth all the time, but I will go underground, and at certain places I will peep out with a feather on my head, so you can see me and know it's fair. Mikana then went and gathered all his relatives of the same size, and gave each one a feather. He placed them in holes one here and one there along the course. He himself hid under the ground, close to the girl. The next day they started. As the birds flew overhead, the turtles popped out, crying, Hee, hee, hee! And the birds replied, Ha, ha, ha! 
It always seemed to them that McKenna was just a little ahead. I have to stop and stand a while to wait for you, he called in Ojibwe. What are you doing, old men? You delay me. But at the finish, Mikana was a little too slow in grabbing the girl, and Hawk was a trifle ahead of him. Who got there first? they demanded of each other. I did, vowed Mikana, and began to argue. Well, ask the girl, said Piponaniu. The girl replied that it was not Mikana. Yes, I did, and you said so, cried Mikana. He shouted to his brother, Go and get my butcher knife. I'll split her in two and we'll each take half. But when Nazowick came back, he only brought a small one. It was not the one that his brother wanted. That's only my knife to pick meat from bones, he cried angrily. Get the other. Nasowick hurried back with a homely old knife. Mikana was furious. I only use that one to make shavings. Fetch me my butcher knife. At last his brother brought the real knife. Mikana took it, but the bystanders cried out, Eh, hey, don't do that. You'd better take her as she is. Then said Mikana, Go to my camp of cedar boughs, after making me so much trouble. So he kicked the girl. Who is this that is so proud, this mud jack weewish? So she became his wife. That was Nazowick by Mary Oshkosh. Read by Frank Blissett.